Now that we've seen how data can be matched to a particular type, the next question, naturally, is how can we implement them in a program? Well, there are two basic ways, and these are the processes of declaration and initialization. Looking at the whiteboard, you'll see the general definition for a declaration statement. It has two basic components, the definition of the type followed by a name for the variable that will be used to hold the value. In fact, more is going on here than you may at first appreciate because, as we already know now, a type relates to a specific amount of memory. And so when the compile statement, the reference to type will cause a specific amount of memory to be reserved. Four bytes for an integer, eight bytes for a double, for instance. The word that you choose for name, which should in some way relate to the data itself, so for instance if you were creating this variable to hold someone's age, you might call it your age, will be used as a ball for the address memory where the value will be stored. The semicolon at the end of the declaration. Well this completes the declaration statement. Using this method however does not assign a value to our variable. It brings a memory location and label into existence. From here we can assign a value at some later stage in our program. The other method is called and this is virtually the same as declaration except here we give the variable a starting value. Thank you. 